In this video, let us see uh, uh, an overview of the configuration steps for uh, integrating GRC 12.0 with Fiori. Uh, after we check the configurations, uh, the steps for the configuration, we will also uh, create uh, a, use, a test user ID using the Fiori access request form. Uh, like in other uh, configurations, like Fury system configurations, the first thing that we need to need to have between Fury and GRC is ensure that you have the three RFC connections in SM59. Okay, so there are two RFC connections with uh, uh, one with underscore RFC, the other one, uh, sec third one would be with uh, underscore HTTPS. So in our here in the system, we have created two RFCs as an example. One is GRC CLNT100 because this is a GRC, uh, GRC system, and this is embedded Fury GRC system. Okay, so so we anyway created one RFC connection to indicate that uh, the Fury is going to talk to GRC system, right? So so we created two RFC connections here which are which are uh, trusted RFC connections GRC CLNT 100 and GRC CLNT 100 underscore RFC the third one that you would also need would be the HTTPS connection that uh, but we have, we, have, we have not, not created it in this one <laughs> alright so let's go and check whether these connections are working or not quickly and then we'll go to the remaining uh, two, three steps that we need for configuring. So you go to, see, this is a trusted RFC connection, okay? So that's why trust relationship is yes, and the connection is working fine. All right, so once you have done the trusted RFC connection, the next step is to make sure that your, the system area is stable, right we'll come to this table again so the system alias table has the entry for uh, this access control uh, apps okay the system delivered system alias for a GRC access control if you're using if you're implementing process control then make sure that SOHGRPC system alias is also there in this table. Okay, the, but the system alias delivered for access control is SOHGRAC and it has to be in this table. Okay, now the prerequisite for uh, this one for integrating GRC with Fury is that the Fury front end system should have this component in it. Okay, for access control. UIGRAC uh, 01 okay this is the component you need for access control so that's a prerequisite now once this is done uh, once you ensure that you know this um, alias table contains SOH GRAC uh, system alias uh, next step is to map that system alias uh, to this one, right? G so GRAC to system alias. No, say no, sorry. It is the alias map. Map the system alias to this one to the I underscore RFC connection of your GRC system. Okay, not your S4 HANA system or you cannot say uh, local okay so even if it's an embedded system config you know and deployment you have to have a underscore rfc connection okay so in, that is why we created uh, this kind of this rfc connection in sm59 okay so you map soh grac to this uh, the grc system on 
RFC connection which ends with underscore RFC. Okay, so this is the second thing you need to do. Okay, this is the third thing actually. The first one is the RFC connection, second is thus maintaining, ensuring that system alias table has that entry and the third one is this mapping. Now the fourth step uh, that you would do is to make sure uh, in your designer, I'm going to close this. Okay, so I'm going to close. So in your uh, system, in the Fury Launchpad Designer, you have the app, uh, the catalog. you have the catalog SAP underscore TC underscore GRC okay so let's search for it so you mentioned that you have this catalog here okay in your Fury designer uh, launchpad designer which is SAP TC underscore GRC underscore AC underscore BE underscore APPS in case you don't find it okay so the the other step that you would need to do is to go and execute this program the replication program okay and execute it and then give the system alias that SAP has given you know, the SAP delivered for this particular catalog right now this is you need the AC one right so this is the uh, catalog that contains your apps right and if it is because it's not there what you should do is you should act run this program in full replication mode and first run it in test mode see if it works and if there are apps uh, and catalog that need to be extracted the, it will show you how how many apps and you know, one, one catalog and then how many apps are there in that catalog okay you should get this message if there are nothing then it was a zero and zero here so once this is done then you can go and run this in the actual mode and then once you do that you'll get this catalog here okay so after you do this what you do is you create a catalog which I already did so let's say I created a catalog called GRS SPGRC apps okay ZGRC APPS that is a technical name and I included two tiles two apps from the catalog the SAP delivered catalog one is for access request other is for searching the request okay and each of this has two target mappings right one is for access request uh, for the search app the action is lookup and for creating or submitting the access request the action is submit okay so you take you know you do this and then I also did oh, then I created a group uh, for these two apps right so I go to GRC, GRC again and I created a group called GRC APP GRP APPS GRP and I included those two apps uh, into my group okay okay so once that is done you also need to ensure that in maintain uh, maintain services you know you have this O data services for access requests okay you register and activate these two data services that you see here access request approve access request create service access request track and access request create other and you assign the GRC system system areas to this okay we assigned locally here in this case because this is an embedded deployment so we, we, we can use local here in this case but if it's a 
central hub deployment in your case where you have the GRC system, uh, GRC in a separate system, Fury in another system, then you would use the GRC uh, system alias here. So you need to do this, okay? Now, so we have uh, created the catalog, we created the group, and we also registered the required or data services for uh, uh, access request. So the next thing that you need to do is to give access to users, right? So what you do is you go and create a role and you include the catalog and the group, okay? I included the catalog and uh, this is the group. I included the catalog and then the catalog brings in the two apps that you included in it, okay? So, uh, do that and then you maintain the authorizations, right? So in this case, it will bring in a GRAC related authorization here, okay? Because this is an embedded deployment, so it, you get the object automatically here. Otherwise, you create this role. You would have to create the IWSV component also. Okay, this is a, not IWSV because this is a, sorry, uh, you know, it's a webbed in pro application. Okay, now you maintain the authorization and send it to the user. Now, the user also needs uh, to have the GRC related roles for submitting a request assigned to that user. Okay, so when you go here, you will find uh, the GRC roles assigned to him, right? So, requester, GRC access request. If you want to submit a request and if you want to approve a request, you know, you need to assign the access approval role also. Okay. Now, this is the configuration that you need to have to create a request, okay? Submit a request, for example. Now, let us go and launch the launch pad. And I'm going to submit a request. And then we're going to check in on S4 HANA system whether the ID gets created or not. So I'm going to say GRC apps because that is a group I created and it has two apps in it. I click on a request. This is uh, not correct, okay? So I don't know why that comes, but this is the request form you have. So let's say creating Let's say creating user ID SPGRC1, okay? And from this point on, it is the uh, same process, you know, same steps that you would, would do when you're using the NWBC form, okay? And then you press, press, okay? And then you go and assign the role. search and I'm going to use this role for example I'm going to assign only one role okay and uh, then you add okay and because we are using a you know this access request form obviously the other configuration that you want to make sure is that your MSMP workflows are working as per your scenarios okay now let's say SPGRC1, okay, SPGRC1, and uh, manager, right, I will take and see, from this point on, all your GRC configuration needs to be properly set up, okay. There's no difference at all when you know when you do the same thing using NWBC form. Okay. The only thing is this time in this case you are using a Fury form. That's it. That's the only thing here. Yeah. Okay. So once you do that, uh, you also need to go and uh, I did not do one thing. 
in the roles you also need to add a comment okay okay so once you have completed the form all day and now you can go and submit as request submitted successfully you can see 1005 okay one all right now once this is done now what you could do is you go and search for the app okay so we are creating a user id called spgrc1 right so let's make sure this user id does not exist Okay, so does not exist okay so let's go back and now search for the request okay this is what you would normally do right in uh, NWBC also so so you have 105 here right if you look at the instance you will see it is the request is sitting with SP ARM manager user to approve the request okay now click on administration and uh, click on the path and here go to comments and add a comment here saying approval okay that's right say approved and say submit okay now once that is done your action has been completed now let's close this now okay let's before we do that let's go to say close this now let us go to it okay before we come and check the ship let's check the instance status again and see so it was with this SPR manager and then comment was entered and the user ID created in system as for CLNT which is our S4 HANA system okay let's go back go to our S4 HANA system and now see if this user ID was not existing earlier now let us see if this ID exists now so click on display and the ID is here and with the role that was assigned now assigned okay right so this is how the whole configuration for SAP Fury and GRC needs to be done.